new engine for my boat has been completed and is now available at the Toad Town Dock. Okay. So does that just make my boat go faster or what? Also, wasn't I supposed to be able to go somewhere now that I don't know how to go to? What is the X? I don't know what the X is. So I'm assuming the red buoys at the bottom go back to Toad Town, yeah. Oh, this looks important. Oh, let me guess, this is the uh, lab, right? That's definitely a mushroom. Only one choice here, Mushroom Island. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the sea captain, dude. I'm a dickhead. Whoops. Alright, fucked that one up, didn't I? That's alright, wouldn't be the first time. Mushroom Island, I guess? No, I thought the boat engine would be in the Toad Strip Club. Yeah, right. Oh, this thing is all iced over, so obviously I have to use the firepower to unthaw it. Okay. Oh my gosh, this whole house is encased in a block of ice! Hope the people inside are okay. I don't. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. Unless they give me stuff. If they give me stuff, that's cool. Ah! <gasps> Finally, after days and days of swimming, I made it to this island. My friend and I promised to meet here in case of a huge disaster. Wonder where they are. Oh, uh, probably dead at the bottom of the ocean, if I had to guess. Just a guess, though. Really, all I had to do was hit the tree for this one? Yet, in the pyramid, I had to, like, dig into the sand, which took me forever to figure out, because I'm a dumbass. Alright. Yeah, nah, the people are dead. Yeah, exactly. They've been gone for this long. They're very likely dead. Yeah, don't be alarmed that there's a giant origami Pokemon on your screen, by the way. That's perfectly natural in a world full of paper stuff. Also, I drank a little bit before stream, so if I seem a little bit loopy, that's why. I like to cut loose every now and again. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Yeah, maybe because that house was frozen in ice, you stupid bitch. This is clearly somebody's house. Where do you think they could be hiding on such a tiny island? Uh, maybe they're hiding because we're home invaders. Does ever think about that? No, you didn't, did you? The store is missing something. I can't quite put my finger on it. Or any part of my hand, for that matter. There's no way to open it. Do we have a spare handle handy? No. Shit. Okay, so I guess I gotta go out and find a handle and come back here. Burn them all? Yeah, with the fire value mental power. Put everybody out of their misery. Also, I'm changing my voice for the Origami King because I thought of something really funny. So when his voice just transitions to something completely different than what you're used to, uh, just roll with it. It'll be funny, I promise. And if it's not, you can crucify me later. Just let me finish the game first. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Ah. So the purple streamer continues over this way, huh? Damn, this thing goes out really fucking far. There must be a lot more islands I have to dick around on before I can figure out where it goes, though. I'm assuming, anyway. Hi. Dude, have you noticed that huge shell sitting pretty on the seafloor? There's no way you could swim that far down. Yo, you'd need to dive way, way down. Uh, you mean like this? Looks like there's something here. Shall we investigate further? Bot streamer? Yeah. I kind of like that about this game, how the streamers all, like, conflict with one another, and, like, you have to complete one before you can go past the other. Okay. It said look for a shell, right? So that's what we're looking for? This is pretty neato. I gotta admit, this is pretty cool. So I get to go in the submarine and then, like, find shit? Ah. Must mean this. What button is X? The top one? Yes, yeah, the top one. Excellent. Let's return to the surface. 
Hey, what's up, Cyrus? How's it going, man? Thank you for the lurk, dude. Pleasure to see you. Thank you for following my shit channel, by the way. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to thank you guys. And now I don't have the fucking notification, so now I feel like a dick, so... Is there a place to roast it? Wow, look at the size of this thing! Kinda wanna cook it somehow. Where can we do that? Oh, I think I know just the place. It's back in that part of Toad Town. For what? No problem. Oh, for the follow, man. I've been following D for a really long time. D's a very good friend of mine. So it's a pleasure to have his community, like, come in here and check me out. I'm glad he's achieved so much success that he has. He's a really nice dude. He really deserves it. We might be able to find yet more unknown treasures. Try diving into suspicious stretches of water. Alright. Yeah, but I think I discovered him when he was playing Cuphead, and then he played Overwatch, and I was kind of interested to see how that game played, and he was, like, really welcoming and really kind, and he's, like, really supportive of everybody he meets, so. It's just a pleasure to, like, meet somebody like him. You're a shit channel too? Do you stream, Zane? Shit, I should follow you then. Bro, I ended up looking at his stats on Twitch Tracker on stream earlier. We got segued from Warframe. Segwayed? What do you mean? Like he decided to stream something else to keep numbers high? Is that what you mean? If you go down and left from here, you'll find an island shaped like a club symbol. Geology is wild, man. It certainly is. You know what else is wild? How the fuck did these shy guys get out here? What is that? That looks really cool. What is that? Oh, that's where the purple streamer goes. Oh. Okay, well, fuck that. I don't want to check that out yet. Is the purple streamer really that close? Also, why can't I steer this boat? That's weird. Like, the Joy-Con just doesn't react sometimes when you try and maneuver it. It's very weird. Used to stream a lot, yeah? Used to play Dead by Daylight? That's a game I never got into. I played Friday the 13th for a little bit before I got bored shitless of it. There's only so many times you can shove a fire poker into a fucking teenager's throat before you just get bored. You know what I mean? Gotta be innovative with your kills. Like, uh, when Jason, like, folds that dude up in the futon bed or whatever? That was pretty sick. We were playing Warframe and D popped into my chat. We started talking about some stuff and I ended up talking about growth on Twitch as a whole and he made... He let me use his stats to show what I was talking about. Oh, I got you. Okay. Alright, so the blooper is saying I can't go that way. That's pretty cool. That's pretty creative. I like that. So the blooper just says I can't go any further that way and that's kind of their Wind Waker-esque. You can't proceed any further. It's pretty neat. Alright. So is there any direction I'm going? Oh yeah, I'm looking for Diamond Island. Aren't I? Where the fuck is Diamond Island at? I guess I just gotta sail around until I find it. This is gonna sound like a dick move, but I really want to do the purple streamer last. Like, I want to milk as much out of this game as I possibly can. So, like, I'm sorry if this series of episodes is just a whole lot of no progress, but I got you guys to talk to, so that's cool. I'm cool with that. Oh, whoa. That's neat. Whoa, that's super cool. That's super fucking cool. That's neat. No okay, kid for what you can, I come for the streamer, content is a bonus. Alright, well, I got some bad news. I swear a lot, I'm kind of a vulgar dipshit. I say funny stuff from time to time. But other than that... There's not really much to be found here, but if you like crude humor and like complete vulgarity and debauchery, this is your place. I have my moments, believe me. There's gotta be something down here. Wait, what is that?
Can I grab it? No, I guess I can't grab it. That looks like a heart thing, but maybe not. Or maybe I have to go a little bit further over to where it is. Ah, that looks important. I'll take that. Oh no, it's not a heart thing, it's just part of the coral. Okay. You're home then? Debauchery is my middle name. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I say some really fucked up stuff. Like, just a forewarning, some of the stuff I say may be perceived as mildly racist or stereotypical or sexist or whatever. But it's all in good humor, like it's not meant seriously whatsoever at all. But it's just like where my humor comes from, if that makes sense. Like, I would not be as... How do I word it? Like, my humor would not have the impact it has if it wasn't so sharp, you know what I mean? Like, if it wasn't so unexpected. What does this guy have to say for himself? I like how none of these guys want to hop aboard my ship so I can take them back to town. I heard there's a reef shaped like a blooper out here, so why can't I find it on my sea chart? Because your sea chart sucks balls compared to mine? Maybe? Oh yeah, so basically the way I play Paper Mario is Mario is a giant asshole. Like, he's supposed to be a hero, but the way I present him... He's completely self-absorbed, he doesn't care about anybody but himself. He only does things for personal gain and stuff like that, it's really funny. You 100% bet you can't offend you? Perfect. Then yeah, this is definitely your place. I feel like my channel doesn't grow as much as it should if I were to be super PC and welcoming to like literally everybody, and like I was to be like really SJW and like politically correct and stuff like that, but that's just not me. Like, I can't work like that. Like, I just, I can't do humor that way. It doesn't work. Wait, so are all these rocks just here for nothing? Okay. Always be yourself? Yeah, I've always told myself the same thing. I don't want to have to sell out and be, like, somebody who can't say what I want to say just for, like, profit or gain or popularity or anything like that. It's just boring to me. I'd rather be myself and grow naturally at a slower rate than try and fake some sort of stupid plastic personality. Say things for shock value and humor, not because that's how you feel or what you believe? Yeah. I find joy out of disturbing people and just being myself, like, humorously. And again, of course, it's not to offend people, it's just, like, it's the way I have fun, it's how my humor works. And I can't replace it with anything. So it's, it's just the way it is. And I always, like, think to myself, like, if people like it, they like it and they dig it, and if people don't like it, they can always fuck off and watch something else. Sorry I'm not doing anything, I don't know what the hell to do. I gotta find this Diamond Island place, but I have no idea where it is. I have the C chart, but it's just not on my chart at all, and the game didn't give me any direction, so I just gotta... Oh, here. There we go. This looks important. Let's go to this, I guess. This is a moon. A partial crescent moon, to be precise. In that case, we'll name it Crescent Moon Island. Okay. Remember, watch out for the blooper tentacles? Yeah, Mario's not into that. Yeah, but basically what I do is at the end of every playthrough I do, I usually, like, take a bunch of clips and summarize all the funny, shocking moments, and I put them into a compilation, and I put them at the very end of the playthrough as the final video. And, uh, if, if you want to see, like, there's a history of incredibly funny fucked up shit like all across my YouTube so you have two sides the awesome D like person and the debauchery side so doing what I do on Twitch isn't me not being myself at all I can be funny on both sides of the spectrum the debauchery or the tame I can't do humor on the tame side like I only know debauchery but like I'm a very friendly willed person like I'm sure D has said some kind words about me at least one time or another so me and D are pretty tight so Wow, this island really does look like the moon. So when it's shaped like this, it's called a crescent moon. Ah, huh, learn something new every day. 
Yeah, but he's a really cool guy, so. I have infinitely positive things to say about him as well, so. I just, I like the way he goes about his community, and I like how supportive he is, and how open he is to meeting new people. And he's not hypercritical or judgmental of people, which is really refreshing. So there's a lot of people on Twitch that automatically get defensive, because they think everybody's out to get them. This island is shaped like a croissant moon. I'm a bit of a lunar calendar buff. Okay. Might be a croissant moon if you have a speech impediment, you dumbass toad. But okay, you do you. Is there really just like nothing on this island? Ooh, shiny tail. Eat. Okay. There's a crab down there. Can I like get past that? I'm assuming not. Oh, I see, I fish here. Alright. Yeah, but there's a lot of people on Twitch, like, there's numerous times where I've gone into a chat, and, like, there was this one dude, I can't say by name, uh, because of Twitch TOS, but I had a really bad issue with him. Because, like, I was brand new to Twitch when I first started streaming, and, like, he thought I was trying to take his thunder or something. And he was, like, some dude with, like, 2,000 followers, so he wasn't even that big of a dude, honestly. And he just, he was kind of being an asshole. And just made me feel really fucking uncomfortable. And, uh, he talked a lot of shit about me. He got all his mods to, like, treat me like shit and stuff. And it was just a really bad experience. So my goal is to, like, never provide that kind of experience for anybody else. I'm always super welcoming, like, whoever shows up. I'm always, like, a really positive person. I shout people out the best I can. Like, everybody I know is absolutely full welcome to throw their shit out there. And as long as my friends can use me as a platform to support themselves or other people, I'm completely okay with it. To let the fame get to his head? Yeah, it was a pretty fucked up experience, honestly. So what happened was, is... I had left to go stream something. Ooh, that looks important. I had left to go stream something. And then I came back. And I said, oh, I was streaming. And he, of course, took it as a self promote kind of thing. And I was like, it was not meant as self promote at all, I was just telling you what I was doing meanwhile while I was occupying my time. Like, I could have been walking my dog, or I could have been doing laundry, or something like that, and he wouldn't have cared. But because I specifically said I happened to be streaming, he took it as a self-promotion kind of thing. And I was like, I didn't mean that at all, I can understand how you'd assume, but that's not what I meant. And then he was trying to tell me off, and he's like, oh, why else would you say that, or whatever, and he was kind of being a dick about it. And then, um, his mods all got on me, and then he banned me, and then he said, if you want to talk it over, we can talk it over in DMs, but I don't want to hear any more about it. And I was like, okay. So I DM'd him, and I said, dude, it was just a simple misunderstanding. It is what it is. I'm willing to let shit go if you are, and it won't happen again. Or whatever. And then he told his chat that I was calling him a whole bunch of fucked up racist shit. And that's what really pissed me the fuck off. Like, that was definitely not cool, what he did. And that was kind of the final straw, so I reported him and I just said, fuck it. Oh, hey, there's bloopers. I haven't seen bloopers before. In a fight, anyway. That's kind of interesting. Okay. So let's do that. And we can do this. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I do now, too. Like, if I'm in somebody's chat, and I go, like, Hey, dude, like, I gotta go, but I'll see you soon, like, whatever. Or, like, I hope to see you again shortly. That's typically what I do, it's the better way to go about it. But I never get, like, bent out of shape about anybody promoting themselves in here, even if it's somebody I don't even know. I don't give a shit. Like, I don't care. I'm not so important as to put myself above somebody else and say, Oh, you shouldn't promote yourself here, it's not the place for it. Because I understand that everybody, like, when they start streaming, they want to get their content out there and, like, attract people, you know? So it's like, I never get pissy when people do that kind of thing. In fact, I welcome it. It's good to be a platform for people to be social for other people. Oh, hey, it's that club island. Uh, an iconic familiar club shape. I'll call this one Club Island. Yeah, but like, as long as people aren't douchey people, I don't mind it at all. 
But I wouldn't want to be, like, allowing a platform for douchey people to be promoting themselves, you know? That kind of thing. The fact that he had over 600 people following him when I first started really going into his streams and he remembered me and was stuck to see me just like it was his family or someone he'd known for years, that's why I kept going back. You mean D? Yeah, like I said, D's a very welcoming person. He's really hard to not get along with. He's just a really positive guy. If you have Borderlands 3 on PS4 and want to run sometime, let me know. I absolutely do have Borderlands 3 on PS4. I absolutely do. I'm waiting for the fourth DLC to come out. Yay, thanks Mario. If you had time to save me, I'm guessing you have a bit more time to spare. I want to get to that relaxing spot just past this tall grass, but there are too many bad guys. You've got time to escort me there, right? Thanks, no need to answer. I'll just follow you silently. Okay. Oh, do I have to fight these guys? I thought I could just bonk them and be over with it. Shit. Alright, well that's fine. Good Samaritan deed for a toad, I guess. What the fuck is that thing? What's that little plant thing? I've never seen one of those before. What the fuck? Okay, that won't do anything for me. I need to get this dude in here, but... There's no way I can do that. Yeah, because they're all taking up one line. So if they're all taking up one line, I can't really do anything there. Dude, okay. Fourth DLC is my boy Krieg, can't wait for it, need to finish the most recent one. All the Borderlands 3 DLCs have been really weird so far, but I think the third one was the best one in terms of story and character design. But yeah, all the Borderlands 3 DLCs have been like really strange so far. I'm not sure I like particularly any of them, but... What the f... What the fuck is that plant thing? Hey, what's up, Mist? How's it going, man? Welcome uh, to Paper Mario, the Origami King. Thank you for the follow as well, man. Pleasure to see you. Tell Cosmo I say hi. I hope his smash is going well. Glad we got to see Tina again. I'm kind of pissed Tina isn't a playable character, seeing as how her role in the story is so fucking small. Oh, whoops. I didn't put up my paper dukes quick enough. Wait, a paratrooper was able to not be seen in tall grass? That doesn't make any sense. Good hell am I? I just started. I'm doing fine. I'm a little bit drunk, if I'm being honest. I had quite a bit of rum earlier. I had like half a whole jar of rum, so like... I don't want to say I'm super fucked up, but I'm a little bit like... Kinda tipsy, I guess. And as long as I don't like, hit that threshold where you go like super tits up, I should be alright. Just raided Jaysuni? Nice. I hope Jaysuni is doing well as well, he's a really funny guy. He has great taste in games and music and stuff, so I hope he's doing well. I was actually gonna hang out with Cosmo earlier, but I decided to stream this instead. I wanted to get some more progress in on this. The Neo 2 DLC just came out, so I need to get this game done soon so I can play it. And it's not that I want to rush Paper Mario, I want Paper Mario to last as long as possible, but I don't want to get spoiled on the Neo 2 DLC at all. Like, I don't want to know any of the events or any of the bosses or anything like that. I don't want to know, so. Wait, do I have the Toad Bell on? Not sure. Yeah, I do. Alright, so there's a toad around here somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Maybe there's a way to cut the grass or something. I'm not entirely sure. She deserved a bigger role, she really does. I'm a little bit disappointed that Gearbox won't add new playable Vault Hunters as well. Kinda sucks. I was really hoping they'd do that. It's just, the game doesn't have the same amount of replay value as it would have had had they included them. Hope she gets more FaceTime in Krieg's DLC. Yeah, she probably will, because I know Tina and Krieg are tied together. Yeah, Neo is like a Souls-like Japanese yokai themed game, but the combat is like way more complicated. Yay, thanks Mario, you've been a big help. 
And I know you'll keep being a big help by making sure my three men friends make it out of the grass to join me. My three friends are out in that tall grass. Thanks for offering to bring them here. Yeah, you're welcome, Toad. Fucking dickhead. Mario doesn't have time to be rescuing Toads. We have, like, islands to go search for and shit. Hello? Hmm, these marks look important. No idea what they're trying to say. They might come in handy, though, so I'll sketch a quick copy. If you want to see these symbols again, press X on the Great Sea and I'll show them to you. So we're gonna have the club, the diamond, the crescent moon, and something else, I'm assuming? Who ran what in BL3 Vault Hunter-wise? Um, I ran Moe's the first time I played Borderlands 3, but I have a max level of every character. I just don't find any of the other characters very interesting, and not a lot of them have a lot of dynamic personality. And I feel like them trying to do a mixture of skills for skill trees was kind of stupid because they don't really change the way the game plays that much. Just seemed kind of dumb to me. I don't know. Like, I thought it was cool at first, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, I don't know how to line that up at all. Some of the lineups are really complicated. Yeah, Zane's dialogue is the best part about Borderlands 3. He's really funny. Zane is hilarious. I just can't play him for shit. Like, I don't know what to use with him. I don't know what weapons and synergies are good. You know? That kind of thing. Yeah, but what are you up to, miss? Were you playing Smash with, uh, Cosma? I assume you were, right? Also, what is that little white paper plant? I feel like those are from, like... Yeah, really old-school Mario games, like the really old NES ones, but I didn't know what they were called. Oh, the Cowson is good with, um, Zane. Interesting. I thought the Cowson got nerfed. I could be mistaken about that, though. It's kind of hard to see in the grass, if I'm being honest. That's alright, though. Oh, finally, a setup I can actually work with. No, grinding Paper Mario? Oh, gotcha. So you're playing this as well, Mist. Yeah. It's cool to see people appreciating this series. Like, this series went really bad for a while, at least in my opinion. Like, I liked Paper Mario 1 and 2, and then 3 I wasn't that big a fan of, and then Sticker Star was absolutely atrocious. We don't talk about that one. And then a Color Splash came out, and I never had the opportunity to play it because I didn't have a Wii U. But I watched a playthrough of it, and it didn't look that great. But this one is pretty damn good so far. I'm pretty happy with it. I just finished the Yellow Streamer, so I literally just finished the uh, Yellow Streamer map. Probably gonna get off in like 10 minutes? Gotcha. Yeah, let me tell you, you have way better shit to do than be here. I tell everybody that. That's not a joke, either. Like, I'm being absolutely serious. Where are these fucking toads at? I gotta find two more toads, and I don't know where they are. Oh, you know what? This thing really doesn't help at all, does it? Like, I wish it beeped or something when you were near one. I don't know why they couldn't have just done that. Oh, I was gonna say, I just ran into something solid. Is he- is he saying yuck, yuck, yuck because he's in tall grass? That's pretty funny. Oh, he's gonna follow me, is he? Alright. Oh, I gotta find three more toads. I was counting the toad up there as, like, one of them. So I just gotta, like, wander around until I bump into something solid, because this toad detector kind of sucks ass. If I'm being honest, it's not very good. I get what they're going for, it's just not implemented very well. Like, it's supposed to freak out when you're near one, but it doesn't seem to do anything different than what it normally does when you're just using it. Fucked. Thousand Year Door was better than the OG Paper Mario. I'm a little bit divided on that. I like the first one for its simplicity and its charm, and then I like Thousand Year Door for being innovative and still being charming, so I like them both for different reasons. 
and I agree, they're both, like, incredibly good games. Okay, there we go. It, it starts, like, blinking like fucking crazy when you get near one. Alright. Now that I know that, that should make this a little bit easier, I think. Hopefully I run into this toad sooner rather than later, though. Nice, nailed it. Yeah, like, I played the first Paper Mario when I was a really little kid. I must have been about, like, six years old, and I loved it. And then Thousand Year Door came out, and I remember it, loving it just as much. Yo, yo, yo! Those folded soldiers sure are a laugh, right? How the fuck can you be friends with a southern toad? I'll never ever forgive those folded soldiers. Oh, he's pissed off. Alright. I guess those folded soldiers are pretty scary. If you're a giant pussy, maybe. Staying up until my ride to work wakes up and gets here, otherwise I wouldn't be going. Oh, got you. Yeah, adult responsibility sucks ass. That's why I'm unemployed and play video games. Oh, thank you, thank you. All four of us are back together. I'm Joy. I'm Anger. I'm Pathos. I'm humor. And together we are known as feeling fungi. Don't you just love it? You love it, I can tell. We'll be putting this act on the road soon, so thanks in advance for spreading the word. As extra thanks, we'll show you a spot on your map where treasure is waiting. Alright. Adulting blows don't do it ever. Yeah, I had a job working at a pizza place for like a year and a half, and it wasn't too bad, but then I got laid off because a whole bunch of bullshit happened, so... Okay, everyone, once more with feeling. Don't dance. I knew they were gonna dance. Neat. Sorry, shy guy. Psst. Hey, buddy. I see you got a toad radar gizmo there. I'll recharge it for a thousand coins, deal? Oh, suck my cock. Oh, alright. Just go about your business, then. We never talked. 